Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Mshoku Tensai Jobless Reincarnation Episode 4. I do not have anything safe for the start of the episode, so as always, like the video if you like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let's go into the episode right now. She's pregnant? Oh, <laughs> Why was she wearing? Nice. <laughs> Rudy's gonna have a little brother or sister. What? You're pregnant too? What? What? Paul, what? What? No way! Does Zenith know whether they're doing like a kind of, you know, couples kind of fun thing? Or does is this just a complete shock? What? I can't believe Paul of all people. Oh man, what a shit situation. I can't believe it. Zenith and Paul seem like such a perfect couple. Yeah, no fucking shit. I'm not surprised. I can't believe it. Yeah, she's a good maid. I can't believe Paul, man. <laughs> Rudy's like throwing Paul under the bus here. <laughs> <laughs> He's helping the situation, I think. <laughs> what is going to happen with Paul and Zenith now, then? Damn, Rudy's really... <laughs> Rudy's really saying the proper thing here, isn't he? Oh, Zenith's being put in such a shit situation there. Oh, she's such a good person. You're too good, Zenith. Paul! Paul! Yeah, however, you need to be slapped. Zenith, you have the patience of a saint. Paul, you're a little shit. Oh. Oh. Damn. Oh, another one of these scenes. <laughs> Mm, it doesn't really say- I mean, you kind of seduced Paul, if you knew he was there. But Paul looks like he did this by himself, so... <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, it's almost like this there's something up with this child, isn't it, Lilith? He might be. Mm, okay. Interesting new turn of the- turn of things with, uh, Lilith and Rudy now. Cool. <laughs> Rudy's gonna have his own follower. Oh, look at this. <laughs> They're already born. That's awesome. That's true, actually. Isn't he like a knight? Legit, they, they had it too easy with Rudy, bro. I'm not surprised. Uh, alright, hang on. Jesus, Paul's a scumbag. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. I mean, anything goes in a sword fight, to be fair, but... <laughs> yeah, you tell him, Rudy. <laughs> Paul, you're a scumbag. <laughs> These little bastards. <laughs> yeah, I've never thought about him going to school, actually. Maybe he wants it for the social side. Make more friends, you know? Oh boy, <laughs> wow. Yeah, no shit, Paul. Really? Damn. Oh, If you leave, you have to take Silk with you, at least. Aww. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> he made an anime character figure. <laughs> you little pervert. <laughs> oh, it's from Shisho. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you deserve that bitch. <laughs> Nice. Good job. Hell yeah. I'm glad I'm glad Roxy's making improvements too. Wow, that's crazy. She's super good then. <laughs> Alright, Paul's scum, but <laughs> I do like how him and uh, Rudy can speak the same language. No. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Ah, okay, I'm seeing where this is going now. Why you say no? Why? Okay, fair. <laughs> so he can save up. Alright, that's a reasonable request, that's fair. What has got Rudy so shocked? Oh. <laughs> I see. <laughs> She's tall. I like her. <laughs> Where's he going? Why? Damn, he's really coming at him. I love these cool uses for his magic. Like how he uses it in battle. Damn. I don't get what's happening right now. What was the point in that? He doesn't know what the job is. He doesn't know where he's going or when he's going to be back. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, interesting. <laughs> right. So that was Mashoka Tensai episode four. Um, well, that was an interesting start to the episode, for starters. Uh, it started out nice, you know. Um, Rudy was going to get a little brother or sister. And then we find out Paul's a scumbag. He's continually a scumbag as well. And we find out what he was like in uh, his swordsmanship school with Lilith. Um, but, you know, it kind of fixed itself and by me by fixed itself i mean zenith's a saint to deal with what she's had to deal with um but cool now uh, rudy's got a goal for his life and he's going to go to a proper university and he wants to take um sylphie with him too and so now he's been thrown into some weird job thing at the age of seven he's got I think he's seven. I, he's, he's no idea what the job is. He doesn't know where he's going. He's going to do exactly what he didn't want to do, which is not see, not see Sylphie for a however long amount of time. Um, but yeah, it's going to be interesting now. He's going to leave the village and go see the world, potentially, and do some 
from the looks of this uh, lady that's come to take him, it, probably some violent stuff. <laughs> but um, yeah, overall, a good episode, <laughs> I can say. And um, yeah, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.